Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It's going to be a busy, busy day today. I'm actually uploading my morning video um, talking about Dak Prescott. And you know what? I'm sorry. I know I'm a homer. I, I know I look through life through, you know, blue colored glasses and all, but I don't know how you can't look at Dak Prescott and say he's not MVP. I, I just don't know. Um, but, you know, that's uh, a, a discussion for another video. It is Black Monday where we already have not one but two coaches that have been let go last night. The uh, Atlanta Falcons did not waste any time. Arthur Blank fired, um, boy, Arthur Smith. Got too many Arthurs. Uh, maybe he got tired of saying Arthur and thinking he was talking to himself. When you're 81 years old, those things kind of happen. They kind of happened to me when <laughs> I'm only 58. Um, but he was let go because the Falcons have a tendency to collapse at the end of the seasons. He's gone. And as everybody figured Everybody figured that Ron Rivera was going to be let go today. He has been let go, fired the day after his birthday, where the commanders are in worse shape now than when he got there. He was brought in to change the culture to the better. I guess the only thing that you can say about his tenure being there is that Dan Snyder is no longer there. I think Washington fans are rejoicing. I'm betting that Rio is happy as can be. Then there's Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick had his meeting with the players, and there's reports that he did not mention his future, but it seemed like people felt more like Matthew Slater, who, incredible player, on and off the field, standout special teams guy, that was more of a farewell to Matthew Slater than it was to Bill Belichick. And mind you, Bill Belichick is rumored to be going to the Cowboys as a dark horse candidate. Now, this is... a I hate to say this, but this is now some of the dumbest shit that I've heard with Jerry Jones. The Cowboys have completed their third 12 and 5 season. 12 and 5. You've seen Dak Prescott play out of his mind. Leads the NFL in touchdown passes by four without the interceptions. Put this in perspective. Josh Allen has double, double the interceptions of Dak Prescott. And Dak has done this not with the Great Wall of Dallas, not with an incredible running attack. With deficits there, you've got arguably the best wide receiver in football with that connection. You definitely got the best combination with this offense right there. You have now seen the most dynamic offense you have seen with the Dallas Cowboys since the 90s, and that includes Dez and Romo and anybody else you want to put there in the last 29 years. You've seen three consecutive years of being in the playoffs. Three with 12 and five records. And Jerry Jones says Mike McCarthy's job is basically dependent on playoffs success. Keep in mind, this is after the Cowboys went through. Jason Garrett, who went 8-8, eight 8-8, and 8-8, eight, eight and, eight, eight and, eight. and you still held on to him. You still held on to him for 10 years. It is literally mind-blowing. And maybe Jerry Jones has got the whole, uh, you know, stir the shit up mentality. And he's just trying to stir the shit. Maybe he's trying to motivate Mike McCarthy to coach. But I don't know what it is, but I'm sorry. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Stupid or something. Almost as stupid as a stupid noise. 
my question is, as we've seen, you know, we, we heard that Nick Sirianni was a genius who now is seemingly on the hot seat right now that they literally want to tar and feather him. I don't know. Well, I guess there's the rumors that Bill Belichick could come in and, and be the coach. But Bill Belichick is more of a defensive guy. He, he's really a defensive guy. And he's gotten old. I think Bill Belichick has the Tom Landryitis because you have a window of time where you're great. Your systems and all that work really, really well. But even with the great Tom Landry, who was the offensive coordinator and the defensive coordinator, came up the flex defense, had the shift, the shotgun, all these innovations that he had, eventually everybody caught up to him. And he didn't have the success, which is why Jerry fired him. Now, I guess you could look at this and say, well, you know, Jerry Jones did fire Jimmy Johnson after back-to-back Super Bowl wins because he thought he'd get something better or that anybody could just do the job. I don't know how, after having the last 29 years go the way they've gone, where your team has actually been the best that they've been in the last 29 years, not necessarily with the best personnel across the board like we had in the 90s, but you got a coach now on the offensive side that's getting the most out of the quarterback and their players. You've got a defensive coordinator who is getting this defense playing lights out. So, Jerry, I don't know what you're doing. I I honestly don't know what you're doing. Um, That is crazy. You know, in life, we always want something else. We always want something different than what we have. And it seems like this is a case where I guess he thinks the grass is greener on the other side. Or he's just trying to, and I I don't know why he needs to, stir it up so that way he gets more publicity. I don't know. I, I just don't know. But it's crazy talk right now you have just done what nobody thought you could do you have played better than what anybody thought you could do you have dominated your division again with the five and one record and you're still talking about your coach's future we'll see how we do in playoffs okay all right good people That's all I had to say about that. There's going to be other firings, I can guarantee you. Oh, and there's also, too, apparently there's mutual interest between the Raiders and Jim Harbaugh. That's that's kind of, that's really kind of interesting. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we see. All right, good people. I will talk to you guys soon.